each individual, eight friends, you'll have 2,000 pounds. But can you imagine Allahu Akbar? You know, we've seen this with our own eyes when we went down. You know, children, when we give them, you know, oh and no, I'd say. You know, we took them Eid gifts, a, a, a new pair of clothes, uh, uh, you know, some shoes. You should see the smile on, these, on the face of these orphans. On the face of these orphans. You should see the smile. Can you imagine the smile that you would bring on these individuals? You know, and I was just sitting there thinking when Molana was making this announcement with regards to, you know, uh, let's see if we can get 50. How many houses have we got today? No, 37 houses we've got. We need another 13. Can you imagine on the day of judgment, you're there standing before the Arsh of Kurs, uh, the Lord of the Arsh of Kursi. Do you understand? And this child comes to Allah and says, Oh Allah, oh Allah, this person brought a smile to my face. I beg you, bring a smile to his face. And the Lord of the Karsh of Kursi turns around and said, You brought a smile to his face. Let me bring a smile to your face. Go forgive him. You do not know. Nobody knows which deed of his you know, will benefit him. This is why I'm here. This is why I'm here. I do not know which deed of mine will benefit me in the next life. We can never be content with what we do, indeed, by the grace of Allah. And I thank you for the good that you've already done. It is through the good that you do that people like this are able to then pass on your good to these people. And these people that you do good to are grateful for the good that you do. And I know it's too much to ask, but what can we do? when we see our brothers and sisters dying on a daily basis. You know, Rasulullah sallallahu could not tolerate the suffering of any human being. This is why Allah says in this verse of the Quran, What would trouble Rasulullah is this, that he'd see any Muslim suffering. This is why if you open the narrations, you will find, you know, you will find, you know, the brother was saying that some of us don't have anything, yeah? Look at Rasulullah, never once did he ever turn a beggar away. Never once did he ever turn a beggar away. And when he would not have anything, he would say to the person, go wherever you like, take a loan, buy whatever you like, and tell that person, Muhammad, the son of Abdullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, has taken the responsibility of repaying that loan. And sometimes the hadith comes to mind. You know, when he, would, when he would see that there's, you know, there's, there's no one there with anything. I mean, the hadith that comes to mind is the hadith of Muslim. Narrated by Sayyidina Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala Okay, one occasion a man came to him. And the man said, inni majhud. You know, the word juhud means to be in extreme difficulty. And said, okay, ya Rasulullah, I haven't eaten for days now. Such has become of me that I can't tolerate it. It's too much. That's why I've come to you. Why? وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ you are the mercy for mankind and I've come to you for help. So Rasulullah immediately had nothing there with him. He sent a wife to the Azwaji Mutahharat. Aisha, whatever you have inside your house, send. Now, as Aisha sent a message, Ya Rasulullah, for walladhi ba'atha bil ma indi illa ma. I swear by the one that has sent you with the truth, there is nothing inside my house other than water. Rasulullah sent a message to the other Azwaji Mutahharat. One by one, every one of them respond. I swear by the one that has sent you with truth, O Messenger of Allah, we want to help. But there is nothing inside our own houses other than water. So the Azwaji Mutahara themselves were suffering from starvation. They had nothing inside their house. But still, if they had, they were prepared to give. Now, what does Rasulullah do? Because this person is in, in his gathering and he's suffering. And this is something, you know, Rasulullah can't tolerate. So now, as we're doing today with you, he stood up and asked the Sahaba, Man yudifu hadha layla? Who will take this person and entertain him as a guest tonight? You know, when the Ansari saw the cry of Rasulullah without thinking, no mashura with anyone, without thinking, he stood up. And Ansari stood up and said, Ya Rasulullah, don't worry, I will take him home and I will entertain him as a guest. Now he went home without even asking his wife. And so when he got home and told his wife today that the guest of Rasulullah will be dining with us, he turned around and asked his wife, is there anything inside the house that you can give him to eat? Look what his wife says. No. There is nothing in our house. Except, except a little 
which will just suffice our own flesh and blood 